Good morning, YouTube. Hope you're having a good day today. It's kind of cloudy and overcast here. They said it could be stray showers, but we're going to carry on, try to keep working until it does rain. But I uh, thought I'd just pick the camera up today. I'm going to do some odds and ends things and thought I'd just bring you along. I wanted to also talk to you about, see the DeWalt 12 amp hour battery? You see three here. I'm headed down here to a house to get the power station and get their brother. Um, but I had one of my 12 amp hours go bad. And these batteries aren't that old. Um, let's see, 2018, 2018. So they were, uh, let's see, they were, I don't know how to read those other ones, the, the months. Looks like the fifth month, maybe, of 2018. So they were two years old, but one of them went bad. It wouldn't charge anymore. It would put power out. It just wouldn't charge. So I've sent it back, and that has been over well over two months ago. The local hardware store here where I live, I uh, buy a lot of DeWalt stuff from them, and he'll send my stuff back and forth. He carries a lot of DeWalt tools. And I was talking to him the other day, and he said, man, DeWalt's gotten really hard to deal with. He said, they have sh they're shutting down all their service centers, and it's taking forever to get anything done. And he said he had to send that battery back to Atlanta. Like, we used to have a service center in Louisville. Uh, then there was one in Nashville, which is an hour from me, Nashville, Tennessee. And they're gone. He said, now there's only one in at Atlanta is where he has to send back to. And he said, it's taking forever to get anything done and to hear anything. So um, don't the batteries have a three-year warranty? Correct me if I'm wrong. So, you know, I'm just on my second year with them. We were using one of them weed eating and we ran it down and I put it on a charger and it, it wouldn't charge. I tried it on three or four different chargers because I've got several charging stations and never could get it to charge. But um, let me run in here at this house. My stuff's scattered everywhere. Let me run in here at this house we've been working on and grab the power station and grab their big brother. Well, big brother wasn't in there. He must be at another house. So we'll go get him because I'm going to pull the battery charger here. We're going to get the dump trailer. You see the battery charger. So we're going to be pulling that with this because the battery goes down on that dump trailer. Check out the new Milwaukee crate. See that? I picked that up. But let me go get this other battery. Oh, found it. I've been to two or three places. Oh, we're all back together again. I had a panic attack. That really disappoints me about DeWalt and having trouble with uh, their service centers and closing them down and taking forever. You know, them 12 amp hour batteries. They got a little price to them. And so far, uh, I, I have had to send one Milwaukee battery back, I think it was. And I mean, it was just uh, like a week, week and a half, something like that. And I had a new battery. So I don't know what's going on, but let's go get the dump truck. So this trailer has been sitting out here for months and when it does that the battery just goes down on it the, tr the truck charges the battery but what i what i get into is it gets real low and when you push the button up it'll raise when you push it to go down it raises it won't it won't change that solenoid over there to flip it don't have enough power then to make it go down on the ball so i have to hook up that battery charger with the DeWalt power pack and give it some power, give it a little help. That's what that plug is for right there is that's what charges the batteries on the... In here, 
to run the pump. So this is very convenient for me. Because I'm out here where I don't have any power. Handy. I might could reach it with a long extension cord. We'll give it a little boost. Give it a little charge. And our battery charger's on. We'll hit charge. I don't need it to analyze. Yeah, you can see she's flat. It's putting in 40. When it's that high of a number, that means that battery's really flat. We'll let charge her just a minute. All these, uh, that one's got two dots, three, three, three. That one right there needed to be charged and I didn't know it. It don't take much. It hasn't been on there long, but we should be able to go down now. Yeah. We've made it out to the scrap metal place. We're fixing to dump all this stuff out. Here you go. Come here and hold this. Well, it wasn't too much, but we had a little bit of trouble. When we come across the scales, a girl told us to dump one place. We got over there, started rolling the tarp up. The guy comes out, oh, you can't dump it here. You gotta dump it over here. We got over there, another guy comes out, you can't dump it here, you gotta dump it over there. And then the third guy, he was like, this is just a struggle to me. And I said, welcome to the real world. The problem was I had a little bit of mixture of everything. I had roofing metal, an old plow, just odds and ends. So that was where the problem lied is it was, they were gonna have to kind of cull through it and pull out this and pull out that and whatnot. Well, we got $30 and 80 cents. Well, you may see old Zach over here. I'm wondering where he come from. Well, I go to church with he and his family. His family and I and my wife, we go on vacations together and stuff, good friends. But uh, Tony, let me get my seatbelt. Tony had the opportunity to go to work at a factory and get benefits and you know insurance and retirement and all that kind of stuff. And of course, Tony's got a family and that's what he needed. So I was glad he got that opportunity that better his family and his life and, and so Zach is 17 right that's right and he's uh of course you know they let the schools out because of COVID so he's been out and he works on a farm a lot and he's gonna start helping me in between when he's not working on the farm and Zach's a good good fella he's the kind of youth uh, you want to see in America a good guy, good clean cut guy, and a hard worker. And you don't find that a lot in today in 17 year olds because Zach don't have to work. He chooses to work. And he's a hard worker. He's been helping me all week. So we're headed now to go get a playground mulch. So we'll see you when we get up there. He's already there waiting on us. Well, that was kind of a rush, quick deal. Like Zach said, 
used to they loaded me with a smaller bucket we could kind of take more time and sometimes I'd get about nine yards he dumped seven on it and he was gone and not all of it got on the trailer <laughs> some of it missed the trailer but oh well it is what it is well we got our playground mugs back here you see Zach unstrapping the tarp roll it up he'll use the Kubota B2910 to spread this stuff out. Yep. Right there, Pin, Whoa. Camera fell. <laughs> Are y'all okay? Yep, I'm Are you good. okay, Zach? I'm great. <laughs> How about the camera? <laughs> I don't know. Seems like it's all right. Boy, these dump trailers right here, they're as handy as a pocket on a shirt. Now, I don't use a pocket on a shirt, but I do use this dump trailer. That Zach's a good one, boy. Be 17 years old, he's very responsible. And uh, just a good guy. He's a big football player here at the local high school. He's uh, one of their starters and one of their top players. Well, Zach's going to go ahead and start taking this and scattering it out through the playground, raking it down. So I'm going to leave it with him and I'm going to go trim some shrubs. But let me show you what I got. I brought the Milwaukee with a 5 amp hour battery. I bought the DeWalt with a 6 amp hour. Those are both pretty new batteries. And I was thinking, you know, uh, a lot of times I throw a 9 amp hour or 12 amp hour on these tools because I want them to last. But a lot of times that's not um, feasible or whatever for you that a lot of times you don't have 12 amp hours or 9 amp hour batteries. You've got more 5 amp hour, 6 amp hour, things like that. So we've got these uh not really sure what you call these things some of you that's landscapers may know i don't know if those are burning bushes or what but they're uh they're a real kind of woody type material they're a tough cut i'm going to use the milwaukee when i get around the house and i'm doing some smaller stuff i'll use the dewalt but just uh thought i'd throw those smaller batteries on uh for you the viewers you kind of get more of an idea. We got one, two, three of these, and uh, then a hedge and some shrubs around the house. So let's get started. Now that's a that's a pretty hard trim for those battery power. Can you see how what a big stubble that is? I even had the trimmers lock up on me once or twice on it. That's a little bit much. On the next one, let's try something different. All right, so I went and got the Milwaukee, the quick change, put the uh, trimmer head on the end of it. Five amp hour battery. So let's see if it does any different. That's not the same five amp hour battery. It's a different five amp hour battery, a new one.
that was a lot easier. I am cutting them way down. I only had this one to lock up on me twice. Well, you can see I was, uh, I trimmed all of this hedge with uh, the Dewalt's and that got into a little bit of everything down there, maple tree and whatnot. You can see they're doing it, six amp hour battery. Trimmed that one, there, 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 there. Trimmed that rose bush off, those two right there, that one right there. Now you'll notice I'm really cutting a lot off of them. You know, if you was a homeowner and trimming your shrubs more regularly, you wouldn't cut that much off. But, uh, trim these, these, right here. And then this hedge was also done. All of, all of I've been showing you all those shrubs and then this hedge, that was all done with the DeWalt. Now, I've been using them for six hours. Now, if it gets too much on you, let me know. I'll take it back over. <laughs> I had to give you a show of this playground. Boy, old Zach, he put a smack down on this thing. Man, it looks good. How many dots you got left on that battery? Two. Got two dots. We've trimmed a lot of shrubs. That's that five amp hour. And then Jason switched and used the De DeWalt right here on this hedge. And we're still two on it. And then I was using this one and it's got three on it. So we've trimmed a lot of, a lot of hedges. I trimmed that whole house over there and then Jason kicked in and helped me with all this hedging right here that you see so we're gonna say bye god bless you jesus loves you jason and i enjoy being with you you don't say anything for your first time back he's been back all week but it's the first time y'all seen him got, got him. baptized got baptized sunday tony and i baptized him big blessing guys we'll see you another day bye youtube bye youtube we'll be back out next week trimming shrubs we'll film it again